Ray Pollock with the Pollock Report to San Anita Diaries. We're not in San Anita right now. We're at the Derby restaurant on the eve of the San Anita Derby. And I'm going to give you my selection of the race. Creative Cause is the obvious pick. He was a good two-year-old. He's turned into a very good three-year-old. He's going to be the heavy favorite in the race, but I'm going against him. Uh, it's interesting that trainer Mike Harrington takes blinkers off the horse off a winning race. And as he gets ready for the biggest and most important race of his career. Strange move. Better to do it in the Santa Anita Derby, though, than at the Kentucky Derby. The horse I like is I'll Have Another, trained by Doug O'Neill. It's the son of Flower Alley. Coming off a big win at Santa Anita. He hasn't raced since February. But O'Neill has put a solid string of really good workouts into this horse, including a mile, a couple of seven furlong workouts. It's clear that he's trying to put some stamina into this horse. And that's my pick. Let's listen to what some of the other people have to say about this year's San Anita Derby. I like Creative Cause. He fits all the profiles that I used to look for in uh, my Santa Anita Derby wins and uh, Kentucky Derby wins. And the reason for that is he's tactical. Uh, he can lay close to the pace. He's proved he can make more than one move, and uh, he's moving forward at the right time. Have you got a pick for this Saturday? I don't like betting favorites, but I uh, I have a really tough time going against Creative Cause. I, do. I like Creative Cause. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, we haven't seen the, the, the true Creative Cause just yet. My pick for the Santa Anita Derby is going to be Creative Cause. I know he's the favorite, and uh, I just think he's a solid six to five shot in the race. He's done everything right as a two-year-old, progressing into his three-year-old year. Love Ray Pollock here. I'm here with Tom Quigley. Uh, who is the uh, liaison to the horse players here at Santa? He tweets out his picks from the paddock every day here at Santa. He does it down at Del Mar too. Tom, who do you like in the Santa Anita Derby? Uh, he's not telling us right now. Go. We're gonna have to. Move. Hi, this is Jeff Siegel, HR TV. It's Friday afternoon, and right now I like I'll have another. Aaron Bear Cruz here from HR TV. If Jeff's pick wins, I'm gonna need another. Uh, I like Brother Francis, the maiden drawn outside. Garrett Gomez signs on. Always hinted at ability. I just this race screams upset in my opinion. Let's go 20 to one on the morning line, and Brother Francis with the upset in the Santa Anita Derby. I like. I'll have another. Isn't that it? I'll have another. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, O'Neill's horse. Who's your pick? My favorite is Mike Harrington's horse, of course. I really, really hope he and Patty win. They're two of my favorite customers, the best people in the world. And in the Santa Anita Derby, I like I'll have another. Basically, because I have him at 80 to 1 to win the Kentucky Derby. I'm hoping for a nice performance. Not a lot of pace in the race. I think he'll get it, he'll get it done, and we'll see him in Louisville. I like the favorite tomorrow in the Santa Anita Derby. His name is? Creative cuts. Yeah. This time I'm with the real Tom Quigley. There is a real Tom Quigley, isn't there? Is there? Not, not the one over here, not the yeah. not the uh, cartoon character, but the real one. And and I'm going to pin him down today on Thursday. Who do you like in the Santa Anita Derby on Saturday? You know, Creative Cause certainly is the horse to beat, but I think from a gambling standpoint, you have to try and beat him. He draws the rail, he's 6-5, to five, which is an underlay, and he's taken blinkers off, which is a, kind of an uncharacteristic move in such a big race. So I haven't looked at the race closely yet, Ray, but I'm looking to try and beat him because I think he's what truly can be described as an underlay in the race. 